Pisces, I heard a win-win situation is in the forecast, which is on one of the cards in the Moonology deck. So I wasn't planning to use it, but I did bring it out because maybe I'm just being called to use that deck. I don't know, but we'll see what goes on in your reading. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's use it now and see what does come out for you, Pisces. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you for all of your support. I really appreciate everything you've done for the channel. It means so much for me, all the donations, all the likes, and I love reading your comments, sharing your stories, and all of that stuff really does help the channel circulate, grow, all those things. So if you do like this message, if it does resonate with you, don't forget to, you know, share that expression. <laughs> it's useful for me too, just personally, beyond all the logistics. It's just useful for me to know that these messages are getting to the places they should get to. Okay, let's see. What does the Moonology deck have to say for Pisces? Don't let pride get in your way. Okay, we'll pull out two more, Spirit. A win-win outcome is in the forecast. <laughs> see, guys? I, I, yeah, I knew this was going to happen. This is, I'm hearing, this is an exercise also in intuition. When you have an intuitive message and you always get them Pisces, right? But trust it, follow it, okay? Because you're never wrong. Let's get one more for Pisces. Thank you, Spirit. One more for Pisces here. Adjustments are required. You know what? That usually comes out with that card. Um that there's a win-win in the future you, there's usually something you need to tweak so let's see what that is maybe it's your pride maybe it's someone else's pride we'll get into it we'll see the bottom it says be bold and make the first move oh okay so could be someone else's energy could be yours these are general tarot card readings so they might not resonate with you only parts could resonate with you and all of that is perfectly fine never make a message fit I feel like it's actually a little bit spiritually dangerous to try to do that. Um, you know, to really, <laughs> I've seen someone like jam like a message in, um, you know, one of those old school mailboxes. Well, they're not old school, but rural mailboxes. Yeah, so don't do that. Okay. All right, Pisces, let's see what the situation is. This win win, what's coming? Get two cards for the situation for Pisces, please. Two card spirit for the situation with Pisces. Whoa, that's like 10 million, but I feel guided to take those two and that one. Okay. The moon. Okay. The 10 of pentacles. Well, here's your win-win situation and the sun. Yeah, okay, something's coming in. Now, I feel like you don't see this coming, absolutely, with the moon, or you have some worries about it. Actually, you might be feeling a lot of worry, a lot of anxiety. It's really fundamental, I'm hearing. I heard the word fundamental, that you clear out your space, you clear out the energy, you might wanna detoxify the space, sage it, do some auric cleansing, whatever you need to do, chakra alignment. I'm getting this, that it's important because Something is like right there. It's actually in front of you right now. Something that you've helped build and grow. And I'm also seeing that uh, it's coming from your crown chakra here. So you're getting guided. Um, you might be, like I said at the beginning, you're probably getting signs, signals, guided messages, intuitive messages, intuitive hits. So pay attention to that. Okay, don't brush them off um, as, as something... Um, I heard make believe, you know, trust that what you're hearing, that little voice in your head is spirit guiding you. Okay, let's get into the larger message here for Pisces. Let's see what's going on for Pisces, please. Ten of pentacles in the sun. So this could be a sudden, you know, well, I'm seeing really this as a spiritual leveling up of sorts but it could definitely be money coming in but we do have you know the tree of life signaled here on this card represented on this card so i do feel like there is that kind of alignment happening things are falling in place 
And I love how this, this middle point here is shining so bright. It reminds me of the sun card here. And I do feel like the solar plexus energy, which is the, the space of identity. Okay, so you might be getting more grounded in your identity, calling back parts to you, really affirming who you are. And that's leading your way to success. You know, I do feel like some of you need to, or you, or you already are doing this, is like getting those other energies of like people, you know, if you're an empath or you're intuitive, you can really grab onto other people's energies and, you know, kind of channel them as your own at times. And that can feel really disturbing. So I do see you, you brushing some of that energy off. You know, there's lots of things you can do for that. Um, salt baths are good, you know, all, drinking lots of water. But there is a need to get other people's energy off of you because this is for you here. This is for you. I'm going to uh, put these cards back in, but I'm seeing the Emperor with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, the Three of Swords in reverse, with the World in reverse, and the Three of Cups. And this is what I feel like is other people's energy here. It's like the community, your friends, your family, other people around you. You know, you're, you're attached somehow energetically to their cycles, probably because you've been through something similar, so you can relate, you can empathize with them. But um, this isn't your energy. And I feel like at times maybe you feel as if it is, you know? So if you have like random bouts of anxiety and you're not sure where it's coming from, it could quite possibly be coming from this. Oh, interesting. There's a card from another deck in here. What is that? Eight of Pentacles. Maybe this is related to some kind of work you do. Okay, Pisces. Let's get the concern. I'm going to pull out all the cards here and then we'll go through them. I'm seeing the color purple here, okay, which is the uh, color of psychic abilities and intuition, but I don't know, it's really strong. And the letter P, you know, I know that's Pisces, but there's something else there with the letter P. Okay. Uh, well, we'll keep them all for that. Three more, Spirit. Thank you. Okay, at the bottom we have the Empress. This is a win-win situation for you. I believe you already are in the Empress status, okay? And that's why um, things are coming to you right now. Hold on a second, Pisces. Let me just get this table organized because it's a little bit out of control here, which is interesting. I do feel like there's some chaotic energies around you at this time. I'm just going to put these off to the side. You could just be witnessing this in others, you know? Especially if you're in a, a relationship or you're coming out of a relationship and there was some kind of uh, fighting or, um, you know, toxic situation. I feel like you're still carrying some of that energy and you really, you can release it and you really should release it. Because there's something about this Ten of Pentacles, this win-win situation being yours and yours alone. It's only to be shared if you want it to be shared. I heard you could do it. In the past, we have the Fool in reverse with the Ace of Wands in reverse. So there was some fear over something brand new, not starting, not getting off the ground. Okay, this could be in a relationship or a work situation. But it's like, I feel as though somebody took a risk, probably you. And well, I'm seeing this as like uh, someone snubbing something out, like your light, your fire. The passion was snubbed out, dulled, despite a risk being taken. I feel like there's a little bit of regret here over what went on in the past. I'm not sure if this is your energy or someone else's. Yeah, I'm seeing this. I'm seeing a real thumbs down, and I never really focused that on this card, but I'm really seeing a thumbs down like this situation in the past um, wasn't for you. Or if you were trying to start something new in your life and it, it just wasn't building, it wasn't getting to where you wanted to go or you couldn't find the house you wanted to move into or whatever this is, it's like um, 
somebody was blocking your energy here or taking too much from you. Your current energy is the Five of Swords in reverse. I think I want to clarify some of these here. Well, I see you not wanting to play around anymore, play any games with anybody. You're kind of done with the drama. Yeah, Five of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like, Pisces, you've come to the point where you have no problem leaving people behind you who do not serve your highest good and your highest power. And I think that's exactly why you're being rewarded because not only is that good for you, it's good for those people too. You know, they're going to have to learn their lesson whatever that is, you know, I'm seeing multiple things here, but they're going to have to learn their lesson on the by themselves. And if you keep giving to them, then they'll never really get it. So I see you pulled back your energy. And that's why it's a win win too. it's a win for you. And it's a win for them. Although not in the way that not in like a 3d way, but it is good for them, you know, they're going to have to learn through, learn through something I heard learn through something. There's something, there was somebody in your, I heard auric field. I've heard that more than once now. Your auric field, okay, who was blocking your blessings. So now that you've cleared something out or you're in the process of clearing something out, that's how things are coming into you. So that moon energy was, you know, all that stuff that was around you kind of muddling your vision. Okay. Well, here we have your hope and your support, and this is the Seven of Wands, and this is where I'm getting that attachment to the card, don't let pride get in your way, because I feel as though you still have to, you feel heavily on guard maybe about something, and you know, everything I say won't be for everyone, so just take the parts that resonate, but there is an energy of being really defensive here, um, and you, you feel like that's what's going to support you. Um, what did I hear? I don't know. I'm hearing, I don't even know what this means. I've never heard it before. It's something like you can see the donkey through the parade or something like that. I don't know what that is. You can see the donkey through the parade. I don't know. I guess it's kind of like you can see the forest through the trees now. I heard no, it's not really like that, but I don't know what that means, okay? But it's like you can, maybe you can see the jackass, right? <laughs> Amongst all the celebration and the happiness, it's like now you can finally see the jackass and you want to point that. It's like I'm seeing the stick pointing at someone. It's like you want to point out the jackass to everyone, <laughs> okay? And that could be your pride. Yeah, I'm getting that's what it is. Um, maybe you want to call someone out or you want to, you know, bring something to light. Or somebody does, you know, and and you feel like that's supporting you. What's, can we get some advice on that or some more information on this? Yeah, Eight of Swords, but this is the block. Yeah, this is definitely the pride situation. And, you know, it doesn't have to be that word. You know, that word could be triggering, I guess, to some people, but like having too much pride. But here what's really going on is you're anticipating that you're going to have to defend yourself or you were put in a defensive situation the energy in the past a defensive situation and now that that's like kind of the residual residual energy around you is feeling like you constantly need to defend yourself or you constantly need to reveal whose fault something is okay and i'm hearing just leave it you know don't don't worry about it just let them spin on their own and i'm seeing a spin top you know like a what do they call it a top you know where it keeps spinning um, just let that go because it, it could potentially block your, well, your crown chakra and your ability to think clearly and receive messages. Mm -hmm. Tower in the reverse for your perspective of the past. Well, I feel like you definitely avoided some kind of majorly chaotic situation, or at least that's your perspective here. But this is that energy is still held inside, you know, it's almost like there was not a full expression of the release of the energy you were dealing with. So what do we do about that spirit? Six of Pentacles. Well, yeah, not don't give to that energy anymore. Uh, 
I also feel like some of you really gave and gave to a situation, a job, whatever, a person, and it didn't really matter how much you gave. It didn't hold anything together, you know? It was kind of dismissed here. But I do think you did uh, avoid some kind of disastrous situation here. And that's because you did the right thing. You decided to stop um, being involved in this kind of energy where it was, uh, there was too much worry I'm feeling. For some of you, it was just like a dreadful feeling, worried that something would never happen. And you know, you kind of just surrendered and let it go to the universe. Others of you, you were dealing with toxic people in your life and they were fucking with your energy. I have to say it, like it's right there on my tongue, okay? So they were doing that and you let that all go. Okay, so present actions, page of pentacles in the reverse. You're so humble right now, I feel like. So what's this pride that can't be yours then? Because I do feel like you're so humble. You don't even see these Ten of Pentacles coming your way. Okay, what's this humbleness about for Pisces? Well, yeah. You're a little bit nervous to step into your full power here. Okay, for some of you... You can't believe just how powerful you are, okay? How psychic you are, how much you're able to plan and strategize. Like when you want to do something and make things go together and just exert force in a situation for your, for your good so that you can progress. It's like you can't believe how much power you have. It's like you're waiting for something potentially to go wrong here and I don't that I don't blame you for that because one you are very powerful and it can be difficult to come to terms with that you know or kind of um, mediate the energies you might be dealing with you know other people's energies versus your own but also for those of you who were in a difficult situation in the past you know this this energy of um, not trusting yourself or not believing in yourself can be kind of leftover effects from a difficult situation. So that's just gonna take time for you to really step into your power and to really own it and not worry about um, other people's opinions or how they feel and think about you because you have this Ace of Cups here for you coming in. Okay. See, I see you're very concentrated on your work here you're kind of blocking love out, I feel like. You're just kind of, you're a little nervous. I'm getting this nervous energy about receiving love. You know, maybe even if you're looking for it, you're still not opening yourself up fully here with the Queen of Cups in reverse. You're just wanting to focus mainly on work. Some of you are work, some of you are readers, okay, definitely, uh, or counselors or something like this. This isn't going to be for everyone, but you're dealing with a lot of messages, okay, about broken connections or something like that, you know, um, disharmonious, I heard, love situations, and you're helping people work on that, but it, it could potentially be affecting your energy here, okay? So this is, again, that need to cleanse, to cleanse your energy. And if that's not for you, then I do see you're just concentrating on your work and you're valuing yourself and you're feeling a little bit sketchy about anybody who tries to communicate some kind of love message to you. But there is new love coming. It's just not here quite yet. It's not here quite yet. It, you will see it, the sun here, when it comes. And when this new love comes, it's gonna come with stability and security. Okay, it's not going to be some small dinky offer I heard. Okay, but let's ask about what, what are these adjustments that are required here? I want to get one on that. The star. Yeah, trust in your ability to heal yourself and heal others. Yeah, for many of you, you're, you're fated towards this path. Okay, this path of um, intuitive healing. So it's just a shift in your energy, I feel like. Just a minor shift in your energy that you need. 
And I feel like this win-win situation is not only you f for you and whoever you let go of, but or whatever you let go of, but also for you and whoever you're helping. You know, and this doesn't have to be in a professional sense. It could be um, through your artwork, right? You could be reaching people through your artwork and you don't even realize it. Or you could be, and I just got this message here about my mom, <laughs> I want to share this. My mom um, found a bunch of photographs online that she really loved. She got them printed out. You know, they were, I think they were on Flickr or something like that, so she could get the high resolution. So she printed them out. She really loved them. She got them framed and they're hanging in um, the bedroom, the guest bedroom at their house, at my parents' house. And it's like, that picture I've looked at so many times and it's really helped me kind of process a lot of things when I'm over there and I'm staying over at my parents' house. And that person who took that photograph or those photographs has no idea, right? Has no idea. And it's quite possible they could have given up on their work because they didn't think it was reaching anyone. So you just never know. So trust, trust that whatever it is you're working on, whatever you're doing is helping and healing someone. And once you trust that fully and you have that minor adjustment, that's when things are coming in. So it's a win-win for, for you and for the people you're healing. Okay, what do you need to know? You need to know the King of Swords. What's the King of Swords here? Oh, so many. The Empress, Judgment in Reverse, Two of Wands, and the Temperance card. Well, you might feel some pressure to make some massive decision here. Now, I don't know what that, that's about, but it's almost like you feel you need to see all the facts, everything straight before you make some serious major decision. But the decision's already been made, okay? Like, it's already happened. The real, the real energy shift has already happened here with the Empress card and Temperance, okay? You've already been helped out in this situation. Yeah, Three of Pentacles in reverse. The help has already happened. Um, you're supported. So this kind of um, mental focus on whatever you're doing, number crunching or you know weighing pros and cons, and if that feels like a burden or a weight, or maybe you're um, multitasking, you're handle, handling, I heard handling a lot of things at once, maybe you make something with your hands, I don't know, um, but whatever you, you feel is maybe a little bit overwhelming in terms of what do I do next, where do I go, should I do that, should I do that, <laughs> the decision's already been made here, you are gonna see that win-win come in pretty soon, so just have some more trust. The universe is just waiting for you to surrender a little bit and have some trust that for it to come in. Okay, so even though you feel like you haven't made the decision yet, you know, I heard at a solar level, at a solar plexus, I guess, level, your identity and your core self has made that decision. Okay? It's a really good feeling. Your advice is the six of cups. What's that about? Spirit. The Seven of Cups. Well, see, there's something from your past here, and I feel like it's an aspect of yourself, okay, that you should carry along with you, I heard. Take with you. There's something maybe that you were working on in the past or some way you felt a certain type of innocence you had, you know, and I feel like you need to bring that kind of innocent, nostalgic love for yourself. You know, this could have been at a very young age or a certain time in your life. When's the last time you felt, you know, really positive? I heard really whole, really whole. When's the last time you felt that? And think about that because I feel like, well, it's interesting because originally I was going to say there just needs to be one more thing added to that, but I'm actually getting that there's something on your plate now that needs to be dis discarded. Something needs to go. I heard distracted. There's something distracting here, and you need to go backwards a little bit into you know, how, how things were before. So I'm almost seeing like um, a room or some kind of art studio. And there's something that's been added, and this is probably a metaphor. There's something that's been edited, uh, edited, interesting, edited in the space. Hmm. Something's been edited or added into the space, and that's actually um, 
needs to go. It needs to clear out of the space. Maybe something in a corner I'm seeing. So if you have a certain spiritual space or, you know, you spend a lot of time in this one particular place in your house, you know, think about what could go from there because I feel like there's something that's just um, holding on to some kind of energy. Maybe it's something from the past. Okay, your outcome and advice is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. And I feel like this is like I heard you have arrived okay like you you have arrived just you just need to accept it just accept it okay let's clarify that for Pisces yeah nine of Pentacles you have arrived okay you did it all by yourself you're abundant you have everything you want or you will soon um, and I think it's going to feel real good for you. I really do. I'm going to get one Oracle card here. This is such a super positive reading. I felt such good energy. Thank you for that, Pisces. I heard you owe it to yourself to feel this energy too. Let's get one card for Pisces here. Beyond the ego. Okay, so maybe this is about the pride. Maybe this is asking you to... You know, take the ego out of a situation. We can never really get, you know, rid of our egos. But it says here, surrender to the flow of life. Yeah, surrender. I said that a few times. Surrender to what's coming in for you. And trust, trust that it will come in for you. Let's get one more, Spirit. One more for Pisces. Way of faith. Let faith be your guide. All right, Pisces, I hope that helped you. I'll see you next time.